hopefully. Hi, hi, very nice to see you. Hello, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. Very nice to have the pleasure of your company back in my bedroom. If you're watching me on Monday, gearing up for the start of December this week, who is excited? Got your advent calendars? Yeah, I've got two from Salcombe Dairy. Uh, and I've got a non-chocolate one as well. So, yeah, looking forward to that for Wednesday. Anyway, if you're joining me live on Monday, then really warm, warm welcome. And you'll obviously see comments and things going up. So do please contribute. Obviously, we've got our team here on Instagram over at Lizelle Wellbeing. And on Facebook, we've got Rachel, who's our social media manager. Hey, Rachel, you just popped on. Great to see you. And so Rachel will be able to put live links up on Facebook they'll obviously stay up so we don't take our posts down so if you want to rewatch, then you can go and check that out and we have a new system on Instagram so they've got some clever new fangled little things and Rachel's been very very good at reorganizing the Lizard Wellbeing Instagram channel so it looks really good check it out it's got little symbols and, and sections for everything so it's really easy to navigate and uh, who is this personal freak she says I've completely emptied my advent calendar Calendar. Do you know that happened at my son's school? I think it was either last year or the year before because they always take their advent calendars in school. Um, and then somebody went in at break time and opened all the chocolate calendars and ate all the chocolates. And so thereafter, they're not allowed to take chocolate calendars in because, anyway, <laughs> I hope whoever it was was sick, but never mind. Um, right, so today, yeah, I was just saying to our friends on Instagram that I've got a very special guest. It's Makeover Monday, beauty themed, and it is none other than Rupert from Delilah, who is going to be showing us a really fun, sparkly, festive party look. So I've actually prepped my face with not very much, just keeping it quite neutral, because I thought that he might want to build on this fairly blankish canvas. But before that, do you know, I've got a house guest with me staying and I thought it'd be quite fun to say hi and uh, after I invited her onto my Instagram and Facebook live <laughs> we just realized that we were wearing pretty much the same dress but it's kind of appropriate so Lil, hi! Hello! <laughs> Hers is actually a different style, they're both from Samson Reed. And it has yes. pockets. It has pockets, mine has pockets too. We love a dress with pockets. In fact you've got a little pocket song haven't you? Is well, there a pocket? It has pockets. Really? Yeah, and then there's like a beat that goes with it, but obviously ah. I can't make that beat. <laughs> Is that an actual song? It's a, it's a reel on Instagram. Oh, oh but who knew? There we are. <laughs> so we're both wearing lovely dresses from Annie. You may have seen on my Instagram, we went to the... Um, Compton Marbling Fair. It's like a fun little private fair where they have stall holders and it's, uh, so it's it was really great, wasn't it? Really and nice. Annie was there. Annie yes. from Samson Reed with lots of lovely things. And you bought that dress. I did. Yes. Very nice. With Thanks. the pockets. I with like this too. Yeah. Really. Lots yeah. Of nice detail. And, and I just like mine because it's just really easy to throw on. But anyway, we weren't meant to be quite so coordinated. It just <laughs> happened. Obviously, <laughs> something in the ether. But it was a very timely reminder because we've been running a free competition over at Liz Our Wellbeing to win £500 worth of goodies over Amazing. at Annie's website. Yeah, and I mean, £500 actually goes a really long way because her things are really well priced. They're not the cheapest, but they're really well made and well priced. And lots of great accessories and jewellery and all of that. And it's free to enter. And, oh, look, Justine's just I had know. her alpha ray from cell return. Oh, look. And, and Sharon's got the mask. Sharon, mask. okay, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. do a quick, quick chat on that before we bring in um, Rupert. But uh, just to say, if you want to enter that competition from Sanson Reed, do head over. I think, Rachel, you can probably pop a link up if you haven't already. Oh, you've beaten me to it. Look, you're so fast. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that draw, I think, is being done tomorrow on the 30th. So don't miss out if you would like to check it out. So how's it going? Because you've been on Black Friday sale, haven't you? We have you? for a week now. <gasps> yes. Have you got any stock left? Just. Just. I've had to order some more. Really? <laughs> yeah, really yeah. Well done. Well done. Well, I've, I've got my mask here and I've got my alpha ray. No, it's um, the neck ray. Sorry, the, the neck ray. Yeah, yeah, I haven't got the alpha ray. I've got the neck ray. The neck ray, I really like. You love the neck ray. I do love the yeah. neck ray. I think because I'm older and yeah. so I'm sort of really seeing my neck and necks are quite hard to, to treat. And also, you know, I just wear it in the morning. It's so easy, isn't it? You know, when I get up and I'm yeah. doing, I'm pottering and doing stuff. I mean, I wear the mask too, but I tend to wear that at night mm. and absolutely love that. And we do have 
uh, Liz loves discount, don't we? Do. On your sale prices. Yes. Okay, so, so we really like you guys. Oh, well, we love you too, darling. <laughs> uh, how long is uh, your sale prices going on for, just so people know? Until the 13th of December. Because oh, it's great. also a pre-Christmas sale. We're just merging Black Friday and pre-Christmas. Oh, fantastic. Because yeah. a lot of the Black Friday deals actually end tonight at midnight. Mm. So just as a word of warning, but yours is, is carrying We're on. We're carrying on, yeah. Now, before Lily goes, I just wanted to show you, because Saturday was, was a great day. We had lovely family day and we were out and about and we did some Christmas shopping. And Lily brought me an early Christmas present. And I said, well, you can't give me a Christmas present before Christmas because it's too early. And she said, no, no, you need to have this now. And um, they are little vintage tree ornaments do you want to tell the stories behind them yes. behind these two particularly so those two are so they're all can you see they're all from between the 1920s and the 1940s and they're all from the soviet union or what was you know the former soviet union because it's so gray and miserable there they make the most beautiful or made the most beautiful and really colorful christmas decorations wow um and there's an amazing kind of soviet and um german history of glass making especially like this this has got the mercury glass if you flip it around yeah well, can, can you can it. you see you can see the mercury glass yeah. behind there i mean obviously they whoa it's right oh, it hasn't you. broken oh my gosh oh, <laughs> that was not meant to happen oh. 100 years of history gone <laughs> i know i mean cause how, how old are these they are very precious yeah it's nearly 100 years i guess 100 years 2020, old 2020 yeah 20, of course 21. they are yeah. yeah the 1920s yeah. you think we're actually 100 years ago yeah amazing that they've survived and of course liz our well-being pink yeah the pink honeybee. Absolutely. Isn't that special? I'm going to have to be really... And we love our bees. We love our pollinators. Yeah. This one I love. I mean, this is so delicate and so fragile. Oh, and you found them in a little antique market, did you? In a little you? antique market, yeah, in London. Fantastic. In and then this one. So she's given me three. This is really, really fun. Okay, so, guys. This is a golden gherkin. <laughs> Isn't that fun? We were actually pickling some cucumbers at the weekend. We were doing it with yes, Harry, weren't yeah, we? we were. um, making some for Christmas. He's been craving them. Yeah, I, I love I love a bit of pickled <laughs> cucumber. So tell me the story, because okay. this has got a really fun story attached so to it. So this is German, and again, from around the 1920s. Isn't that fun? But the reason that they make um, pickle uh, Christmas baubles is... In the late 1800s, Woolworths in America, and yeah. this was particularly Woolworths in New York, ordered too many gherkin glass baubles. So their PR team made up a story that it was, um, a, I think it's German tradition, that they hide the... Uh, the gherkin on the Christmas tree, and the first child to find it gets an extra present. And apparently, hunt the gherkin. Have yeah, you ever heard of this? Hunt the gherkin. And apparently, it is now, according to the guy in the market, it is still a common German Christmas tradition now in Germany no. that they still do. But it actually comes from the Woolworths marketing team in the late because they had too many gherkin ornaments. That's hysterical. Okay, so if there are any German <laughs> listeners out there or anybody with Please German heritage, this, I love this story. That plays <laughs> hunt the gherkin on their Christmas trees to get an extra <laughs> present. Could you let us know? That would be so amazing. But I honestly, that has to be my funnest Christmas tree decoration yet. A golden pickle gherkin. And the fact that it has that story behind it is even better. Well, my darling, it's lovely to see you. Lovely we have to, to crack you. on because I've got, I've got Rupert waiting. Thank you, my sweetheart. I'll catch you up later. Bye, everyone. And, um, yeah, just uh, remember, this dress is mine, okay? Yours yeah. is the one mine with the gold mine. buttons. I know, I know yours <laughs> is yours, but hello. What happened to my blue sweater? Oh, no. That's okay. We won't talk about the blue sweater and the shrinking of the blue sweater. Anyway. We won't talk about that, um, the favourite blue sweater that was borrowed. Anyway, I'm sure it can be salvaged. Apparently if you wash things or soak them in fabric conditioner in really cold water, that kind of reconditions things that might have been accidentally shrunk in a hot wash. Anyway, talking about last chances, there is, before I get into Rupert, I'm sorry Rupert Dunning, I am coming to you, I promise, just to say that there is a very, very uh, amazing offer, but it ends at two o'clock today, okay? Monday the 29th of November, if you're watching this in real time, this offer ends at two o'clock. So make a note to literally hop on if you'd like this at the end of the live. It is the subscription offer for the Liz Our Wellbeing magazine. For anybody that is still yet to subscribe or would like to give it as a gift subscription, 
two amazing offers, one of which comes off at two o'clock, just to let you know. So at the moment, we did it for Black Friday, 40% off, okay, so almost half price. You get six issues for just $24.95 uh, on direct debit. So that's a further £10 off uh, the normal price. And you get free UK PMP and you get a free back issue from November and December. So that is that is like a super, super, super cheap deal. And that's only, I think it was due to come off at midnight last night. But because I was doing the live today, my team said, oh, look, you, if you want, you can just mention it today. But it does have to end at two o'clock. OK. And really importantly, this is something that is ongoing that you might enjoy. They, My team have come up with this idea called Refer a Friend. OK, this is for the subscriptions. Now, if you su successfully re um, refer two friends to subscribe, so basically share the links, you can do that at any time, um, and they subscribe and they get their offers and they get their cheap deals and all the rest of it, um, you get an ebook of your choice. OK, so you'll get sent a little voucher and you can choose whichever ebook you like from the website. So that's worth four ninety nine, And perhaps more importantly, you get entered into a draw to win a full hour's online video call one-to-one -one with me to go through anything that you'd like to talk about. You know, hormone health, gut health, anything, beauty, whatever. Uh, anything, obviously, within reason. Um, and so, anyway, so that is hopefully going to be a really fun thing. I'm really looking forward to that, having an hour one-to-one -one with somebody, okay? So that is, all the details on that are on the website. So that's basically to, to refer your friends so that we can kind of broaden the net a bit with the magazine subscriptions. If you just look for refer a friend on the Liz Our Wellbeing website, okay? Um, so anyway, I hope that that is fun for everybody to do. But in the meantime, if you do want to just make a quick grab on the money savings, then please do that before two o'clock today. Right, okay, let's get into the main event with Rupert. I'm looking forward to putting some bit of decent makeup on, actually, I have to say. Uh, Rupert, I think I have accepted your request. So hopefully, yes, hello. Hello. Very nice. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. I had Lily oh, here and we had, we had stories to tell and all the rest I, of it. I, I nearly fell off my chair when you dropped that hundred year old glass ball. I thought that was just brilliant. I mean, honestly, <laughs> you can't make it up, can you? Luckily, <laughs> I'm in my bedroom, which has a carpet. But can you imagine <laughs> if I'd been in my kitchen? Awful. Do you, do you love my golden gherkin? I love your golden gherkin. I, yeah, I want I to hear whether this is really true. that the right, hunt the gherkin. Yeah, hunt the gherkin. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure whether I put it on the tree and the first person to find it gets an extra present. That might be, I don't know, gets it's an extra fabulous. something around. Whatever you're doing, just don't drop it, Liz. That's all we want. Just this is the most it. precious one. Very <laughs> carefully going to put it down. But it seems appropriate to have a golden gherkin for your arrival because they're going to be, <laughs> as it were, you know, because, no, 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 wait till I finish, because we're going to be talking about golden sparkly things. Thank you. Well saved, well saved, <laughs> Is <that> well done. <laughs> and, you know, you very kindly sent me some bits for today and did, yeah. they are pretty much identical to the favourite bits that I currently have. Phew. I know. Like, I know. Okay, so so this, this, well, you can tell actually, because it's a, this is a brand new shiny one just out of the box. Yes. And right. this is mine, covered in my right. kind of paw prints that I've had for a while now. And I, I never, yes, I'm never entirely sure. I, always I genuinely sure love I, it. It's been well used. Okay, yeah. I, I'm never entirely sure because often um, I know that you meet people and give things away and, and you. Not, I'm not giving this like, away, no. No, right, okay. And, well, and, and right, now I've got right, a second good. one, I'm not giving that one away either. Okay. <laughs> Christmas then, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> so it's um, all about kind of getting on a, a slightly festive sparkly face, exactly, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. And actually we've been out. It's been so lovely because we've been out doing makeup events. Great. Again, as a brand. So we've been out meeting customers and clients. And um, I was in the Isle of Wight last week, mm. in fact. Went over to do a little makeup event over there My where you old... are considered a deity, in yeah. fact. Where what? And there is statues. Of, you're considered a deity over there. <laughs> Saint uh, Saint Liz Earl. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Liz Earl. Yes. Oh, uh, how funny! I haven't been to the Isle of Wight for a long time, actually. Oh, well, how is everybody you. over there? 
they miss you over there mm. and they do and so i went over and did it was all a bit last minute organized actually we probably should have advertised it but uh you know well, well, I went over and did a makeup event, and, mm. and it, of course, it was lovely to be sitting people down. And I've been doing quite a lot of this remote makeup, yeah. um, which it turns out I'm very good at. Actually, I don't even need to get my hands dirty. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's been really nice actually making people up again, and, yeah. and yeah, doing Christmassy looks, which is mm. what, what we're going to do today. So I have got a bit of base on. So. Um, and just a very, very little bit of neutral eye and a tiny bit of mascara because otherwise uh, I just look as if I haven't woken up. But uh, that's it. So I'm, I'm in your hands. Right. What, what would you okay. like to start with? Uh, I would like to start with... Now, I, I have sent you um, some of the smooth shadow sticks and I, I Ooh, sent them yes. uh, about a week ago to you. But I need to say, mm. just because your community is so fantastic, that whatever we use, they do go and have a look. These have sold out this week. Uh, are you going to get more in? We are going to try and get some more okay. in, yeah. But I, I've got to be honest, we formulate them over in Italy. They've just sold really, really well. Yeah, but well, they, they are great what things. I, what I thought this morning is, seeing as so many of your community have gone out and bought these, I do yes. get a lot of questions about how to use them. Okay, brilliant. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of them today because I know when we should, if we use them too much, people will say, oh, we love them, we can't get a hold of them. Yeah, um, fair, fair but, enough. But, uh, we, we will definitely, and in fact, if you can grab a colour called Pink Champagne. Oh, that's the it first is a one of, here, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is the, the lighter colour, exactly. Now, the, look, look, I like to just, I like to give a sort of holistic view on makeup. So it doesn't mm. need to be Delilah. But I would say if you're doing eyeshadow and you have a cream eyeshadow, mm. start with that first. And, okay. And, and, and this will just go straight onto the lid. So what I want you to do, we'll just dive straight in this. Yep. I want you to just scribble this onto your lid and start at the lash line. And you're going to you're gonna draw all over the eyelid with it. Ooh. So you're going to cover the whole eyelid. So scribble it on nice and quickly. I love Always that. Always think about sort of drawing a half moon over the eyelids. Oh, nice. What's really nice also for older eyelids like mine is that it's very creamy and forgiving. Exactly. You know, I find matte colours can just be a little bit too hard. You know, if they can got... be a bit dry and can drag a little bit. Yeah, that's really pretty. Great. Now, look, I'm, I'm glad. Now, we never oh, say no. older eyelids. That's not language that we use as makeup artists. But okay. Certainly, if you, we are talking about mature skin. Many years ago, when I trained as a makeup artist, they said they used to say. You know, don't use sparkling colours, don't use shimmering colours on, on mature skin. But that that is is not the case anymore. You know, the look we're going to do, think about sort of, instead of sparkly, let's think about light reflection, right? Bring nice. some light to the eyes, right? Like so, that. So all you can do is just scribble this on, and then if you want to whip most of this, we're going to do with our fingers, Liz, actually, and then just Great. blend with a finger. So when you get to the socket line, just blend a little bit with your finger, I love that. And that's I it. love that colour. Isn't that pretty? Just all over the moving part of the lid. So, sadly, because it was, it has been signed a week. We have sold out of these. Okay. Well, make a note. This, make a note for next time. If you have this at home, this is the pink champagne. It is okay. a great colour to wear, and it's not too sparkly. Does that make no. sense? No. Otherwise, nice. just find like a creamy, creamy base, pinky brownie exactly. base. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's switch out to our favourite eyeshadow palette. Yes, I, lo I genuinely love this. Now, do you have lots of this in stock? Because I love yeah, it and do. I'm going to rave about it, okay? You, you, can, you can go and get yeah, this absolutely fine. And do you know what? There's, there's actually a colour called Taupe. This, this colour here is very similar to the cream eyeshadow colour that we just use. Which one? So this one? So actually, so mine's the other way around. Oh, you yeah, see yeah, that one? Okay, top, sorry, that one. corner here, taupe. You that can one. actually take a little yeah, bit Yeah, yeah, it, abs abs it actually is. Yeah, very It's a much. really similar colour, yeah. So if you weren't so you able use to... that all over here. Yeah. Exact, start with this taupe colour okay. all over the eyelid. All right, so... Now, this is um, called Jezebel, isn't it? I know it off by heart. This is called Jezebel, yeah. And we this do have 20% off all the single items on Delilah Cosmetics. You do, I know indeed. Rachel's yeah. popped, popped a link Absolutely up. Absolutely, you so. do, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, so, I love yeah, this. I genuinely... I just want to rave about the textures. I have had right. so many makeup palettes over the years from seriously big brands and other, you know, celebrity makeup artists. Right which are in my cupboard, this is the one that I go back to time and time again. The density of the pigments, a little bit, it goes on really well, it's not too drying, it stays on, 
and it's just brilliant. And this palette I love because you've got matte shades. I've got my little highlighters here, which I use every day. Um, and then you've got the sparkle okay. as well. So this this was the point I was going to make. And, you know, and I think you need love a it. mixture from those sort of matte shades mm. to those, let's call them satin shades, mm -hmm. to those nice shimmer shades, yeah. all the way through to this colour minx, which we're going to finish with, which is that quite minx. glittery. I love yeah, it. We'll, we'll finish with that, with that colour at the end. Oh, good. But look, for now, what I want you to do, so you're holding upside down, third row down on the right-hand side here, uh, is a colour called, I should know is, this. Is that I? taupe? It's called Tickle, actually. Oh, Tickle. Sorry, yeah, I can't read it upside down. Tickle, I love that. It makes up okay, his name. So look, this, this, one. this is what you're going to do. Ring mm -hmm. finger, Liz. Just take your ring finger yep. and just dip it in. And then what I want you to do is pat it on the outside corner of your lid. So chin up again and just here, just on the lid section here, okay. almost pat it so you get a spot there. And then Ooh. you can pick some up and do the same on the other side. So what we're doing is we're taking this darker matte color on the outside corner of the lid. Yeah, very good. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. Not, yeah. Without, without just, being too scary. Just make a little bit of a smoky eye, because we're talking about an evening look here. It's, you know, yeah. it's gonna be for Christmas drinks. Just patting that color just with your finger, just, and then once it's on, you can just use your ring finger, rock it backwards and forwards a little bit to just blend that colour through into that base colour. Yeah, very nice. Oh, I love all these nice and techniques easy, right? I'm learning. Yeah. You know, and often I find when you use your finger, you don't, you get less of that. Sometimes eyeshadow can drop underneath the eye. Yeah, it can. And, and the brush sometimes will almost flick the powder underneath. But if you can use your finger and just tap onto the outside mm -hmm. corner there, it'll go in very quickly and you can just blend with your finger. Very nice. Now nice. we've just got a little bit of a kind of smoky look to the eye. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Okay, great. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to use middle finger. We're going to go into this, yeah, into this sparkly colour here. Ooh, and this. just as you lift off, have a look on your finger. It's got some real sparkle to it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is see. really, um, really, really good, that sparkly yeah, one. Can you see that lovely one? lovely and sparkly. And, and honestly, do... it just brightens up. In the evening, sometimes, you know, if I'm rushing, I haven't got time to do anything, I'll just whack on a bit of eyeliner and a little bit of this. And, and a dab of that. And it's, 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 all, it's yeah. interesting because it's all, I Love think, it. a bit like a, like a lip gloss for your eyelid. Because yeah, the nice colour is quite sheer, yeah. but you get that sort of twinkle, mm -hmm. you know, so you can add it over anything that you do, which yeah. is what we're going to do now. You're going to pat into the centre of the eye. So okay. if you're dark shadowy colour was on the outside, you're going to go next to that with your middle finger and dab it into the middle of the eyelid. Mm. Now, just a quick note. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so you have lovely eyes to make up. And, oh, you know, nice. when I was out doing my event this week, lots and lots of women find that they have what's called a hidden lid. So when they look, when they're doing their eye makeup and they look straight in the mirror, they feel like their eyelids disappear a little bit. But don't forget... People can see your eyelids as you move your eyes yeah. around. Yeah. So as you're looking down or as you're yeah, blinking, yeah. Yeah, you get that little that. flash, you get that little twinkle. So don't panic so much. If you're looking in the moon, you think, I can't yeah, see it. Yeah, if you anything. can't see it, when you look down, you're so right. You're talking, other you're with people that, yeah. Other people can see it, yeah. yeah. Now, I would avoid putting any sparkle on the brow bone. Oh, I really? Avoid. Not up here? Don't do that. Okay. Yeah. I think I've done keep that. Keep the brow bone clean. If you keep the brow bone clean of makeup, yeah. you'll find you can go a little heavier on the lid and it won't look too made up. Oh, good plan. Yeah, yeah. That's And it'll always look nice and fresh. At least that looks great. And look, you've just used your fingers there. That's I know. fantastic. And just, just two main colours, really. A little bit of emphasis. Exactly. Yeah. Nice and easy. Really, With really that nice. One. Where's, and where's my tickle? Oh, no, that's a vamp. Where's. Tickle, here we go, that one's so just want to give it, it's that matte, it's that satiny yeah. colour just on that outside corner. You're, I always think you're quite good at your makeup, you know. Oh, you're, 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 well, you're, I you're mean, I've been eyes. made up a lot over the years yeah. and, I, and I've picked up a lot of tips, I have to say. You are, but I, I think that you are very good at your makeup. So I would say, yeah, like, if face. you're feeling brave, I don't know if you have a narrower brush like this mm -hmm. handy. If you've got something a bit flatter, you can pick up a little yeah. bit of this tickle colour, Liz, and you can actually apply a little bit just to the Ooh, lower Oh, underneath, lashes. OK. So just press a little bit in your lower a little lashes bit. because we're going to do liner next. And so I'm going to put it in my eyelashes? 
so just push it in the lashes, yeah. And and we call it push lining, but what you're gonna do oh, this me putting my shadow on Ooh, my cheek. Push lining. Um, just push a little bit into the lower lashes, maybe the first third to sort of half. Yeah, nice. And I would say, like if you're like if you've got nice wide open eyes, then there's no reason to take that colour all the way across. You can do that, that's fine. If you're worried that your eyes are a bit smaller, then just take that colour maybe halfway across. But I like that because eye. it's not too much, you know. I think when I look at my girls, you know, like Lily and Brella, you know, twenty and thirty, they can get away with all of that. If they want to, you know, cover their whole face in glitter, they just look sure. incredible. I would just look stupid. So I think sure. you need, I just you want need to look to, just a little yeah. bit gleamy, a little bit polished, a little bit fun. Okay, so, exactly. Okay, so the other thing I would say is, you know, sometimes your makeup can be about those textures, right? So kind of glowing skin, shimmering eyes, glossing lip, glossy lips. It doesn't mm. need to be about colour. We just add different textures to the face. And you get this beautiful makeup look without using dark or bright colours, you know. It's a, a definitely a trick that we learned in the 90s, you know, yeah. that we were big into shimmer and gloss and illumination, yeah. you know. So, yeah. so if you're nervous about wearing colour, go for those different textures on the face. Uh, Great. What about liner? I mean, do you ever use a liner? Okay. Do you ever let's do... do some liner. I have... Yeah, let's use a liner. I sent you a You've got, dark, yeah, an eyeline here. Called Twig. Twig, love this. Got it. Look at this one. You've got it. Yeah, Twig. And that's its a little sharpener. Brown. I'm really loving this. A little sharpener but at look, the end. Yeah, just look nice at how sharp that is. Can you see that point? But it's so just, soft. Just gives it a little bit. Exactly. But look, I've got a little trick for you. Really soft. I like to, I like, I like to, I like to offer some tricks. Please. What we're going to do, see if you can do this. You're going to actually pop up your lid and try and get that colour underneath your lashes there. Oh, just on, on the very the edge. Yeah, thing. absolutely. We call it tight lining. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I, I, I know that you're I quite need, good at your makeup, hand. so I thought you'd probably be able to do this. We'll give it a whirl, but just run it up. You can almost pop the lid up, or if you've got your yeah. other mirror there, I've got my other pop mirror. Up the so lid. Excuse me. Go for it, and, and I'll, I'll show people how to do it. You pencil underneath there and bring it inside. And yeah. what it does is it, it makes the roots of the lashes look much fuller. Lots of people have a real challenge trying to do that fine line over the tops of the lashes. Yeah. You end up, oh, that looks great. I can see that already. Yeah, but it's just, very subtle. It's just literally sort of infilling the, the Exactly the that. Lash You're exactly right. Just pushing underneath there. And it's a great way to, to just give definition to the lashes and definition to the look if you're a bit nervous about doing eyeliner. Now, some people will find that a bit tricky the first few times they do it, but you, you get used to it. Oh, that looks great. We can see that already. Yeah, and it's really That's subtle, but, but it gives that definition from that eye. And presumably all your products are ophthalmologically tested. You know, they're all safe to use around the eyes and, oh, and all of that. Ophthalmologically tested, absolutely, yeah. We do derms certified dermatological and ophthalmological testing. Oh, brilliant. It's really important. And the other thing to keep it really yeah, clean absolutely. is just to say with this little, um, at the back of the uh, pencil, you've got this little built-in sharpener. Isn't that so clever? Yeah. So, so you, you can, can literally keep it, keep it really clean. And hygienic. And hygienic correct. and, you know, yeah. every time. And obviously don't share, you know, just... Never just share. Use, never share, just use one at a time. Not even if you really, really love somebody. No. Do you love them enough? No, because <laughs> you might get a germ. <sighs> That's go. nice. Now, sometimes what will happen is some of the colour will transfer into the lower lash line. And that's quite nice. I actually quite like that. And we may top that up in a minute mm. to make this look even smokier. But if you if you don't want it too dark, you can just do the top line. Just if you're feeling top. a little mm -hmm. brave, then you can actually run a little bit in the in the lower water line as well. But the point is to but keep... But I mean, Princess blinking. Diana always did that. She used to use that bright blue eye pencil, didn't she? It was very kind of yeah. early 80s. Okay, all right. So, so I remember that I was doing makeup back then. I remember that, and 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 many of your community will as well. The thing is about when you wear eyeliner on its own, yeah, which yeah. the lovely lady Di would always do. I think that makes the eye look smaller. And so, nice. if you just take a liner and run it inside your eye, there, I always feel like it makes the eye look smaller. Yeah, it kind of shrinks However, it down. Mm -hmm. If you've used some eyeshadow like we have around the corner of the eye and underneath the you eye, have to bring this out. 
it, it then it won't make the eye look smaller. It makes, and which is what it's done for you, it makes the whites of the eyes look whiter, mm. and it just tightens up the whole look a little bit. Now you can do this with black okay. um, as well. But this is but so much nice, softer, like a dark a chocolate, chocolate you know, expressory brown is. I think is really really easy, and even if you're feeling daring and a true smoky eye should have some colour on the lower inside lash as well. If you want to do that, you can take a little bit under there too, which might look nicer if you do that. Yeah, okay. I tell you what that's doing is that's really highlighting the gold. It's right, yeah. Yeah. So really we're getting this the gold now, again, shimmery, so. smoky tone. You know, it's so nice to do something different. I often speak to mm. women and I say, okay, what do you wear during the day? And they describe their makeup look. And I say, okay, what do you do in the evening? And they say, the same, just more. And it's so nice to, uh, do to use some different techniques mm. if you're going out in the evening, mm. like making the eye smokier like this, which is looking nice. Love it. I love that. I really love yes. that. And that's um, given me I, a different... I agree with you. Uh, this I'm has actually... beautiful eyes. Oh, oh yeah, bless with... you. They're Thank talking you. about the blue line. I think, yeah, lots of chat about the blue. I think I'm going to go back. And I'm now I've put that black, that brown. I agree. I'm I agree. You can just... tap, a little, tap a little bit more of that shimmer on. A little on. bit more. You see, I get bolder. Once you once you start, you don't want to stop. That's really nice. The other thing I would say is this. You know, eyeshadow is a journey. You know, wait till you put your mascara on. Lots of people, they start there, they think, well, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do what Rupert and Liz were doing. Let's give it a whirl. Let, let's get the Jezebel out. And they start doing it and think, oh, no, this is not going right. So they wipe yeah. it off. What I would say is finish the makeup, put the mascara on, because uh -huh. you'll find that once you put the mascara on, the whole makeup kind of tightens up. It looks a lot slicker. So don't don't stop halfway through with your shimmery, smoky eye. Get yep. stuck in, get your mascara on, and see how it looks then. And as you say, you might find then that you want to ramp that up even more with a bit more. Yeah. Now, I've sent you your favourite mascara. I've sent you some more intense. Have, have you got it? some more intense? Oh, you have sent me some more intense. Sorry. I was just about to use a beauty pie one. Smash I was going to say, it's... No. it's, it's Lily been at your makeup table. Yeah, well, it? that is the problem with two girls. <laughs> Things do disappear. But what I like about the um, the intense is you can you can build on it. It's really buildable. So it's you know really... you can do a little bit during the day, and then you can come Absolutely. back later in the day, and it doesn't go all kind of crunchy. Yeah, this is now our best-selling mascara. This is it really? Is, and I always I always say, Liz, small brush equals big lashes. Okay. You know, in the way to get. Big lashes. Small brush. I'm going to do what Rupert's is. doing here. He's yeah, showing you the yeah, brush size. Exactly. Yeah. Just for yeah, our small brush. Facebook. Big lashes. Yeah. So again, and I'm a I'm a big fan of looking down into the mirror. I noticed that you do it as well. But I was yeah. saying at my event the other yeah, day, yeah. if you can look down into the mirror and get that brush underneath, you'll really be able to see the lashes. Yeah, very good. Do you juggle okay. it right into the into the a root wiggle. of the lash? What you want to do is you want the brush to meet that eyeliner that we've just done. Okay. You know, the secret there is for the mascara and the eyeliner to meet each other. What I don't like is that little white gap sometimes that yeah. you get, especially mm -hmm. if you've got a blonder or a lighter lash. If you can get that colour right to the root of the lash to where your tight line is, then you get this nice sort of dark line that really frames the eye. Yeah, and this really is a black building. mascara. And, and you know, we only, do, we only do black mascara. I don't... We didn't formulate a brown. Brown mascaras, because they have some red in them, make me a bit nervous yeah. sometimes. If people are a bit pink in the eye and they use a brown mascara, I Ooh. think sometimes it can make you look a little tired. Yeah, good tip. I have to say I always use black. Sometimes in the summer, if I want a really natural look, I have got a really dark chocolatey brown. But yeah. it doesn't give you the kind of the vroom that you want no, from your lashes, so. does it I really? No. Do you ever use mascara? I mean, do, are, are guys buying mascaras and things now? So they, they are. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny that we've spoken so many times. This is the first time you've ever asked me this question because I get asked a lot about whether or not I wear makeup. Yeah. Um, and I certainly did when I first trained as a makeup artist and I had this wonderful kit and not only that as I said before it's the early 1990s and it was all about being a metrosexual man Duran Duran um, and all of that you know uh, right yeah. so I, I, I had no <laughs> problem with that at all now I'm 48 years old and I'm not gonna lie I did put a bit of bronzer on before we started our live I think that's that, great that was for you Liz that was just for you oh I knew honey <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of bronzer. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. 
Sorry. I won't tell the wife. No, no. But I mean, do you end up nicking her stuff? No, I have a warehouse full of it. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I know, I know guys who do, though. I mean, I know guys who will, you know, just pinch a little bit of, like, bronzing gel or concealer. tinted moisturiser. And concealer, concealer, you know, once you see the results. And I know, you know, I've, I've got girlfriends who, you know, encourage their other halves to do it because then Matt they're bronzer. nicer to look at. So why not? Matt, Matt bronzer for a man is nice. Our, our bronzer is actually, we have a lot of celebrity makeup artists who do grooming for men who use our matte bronzer and our little eyebrow gel actually the eyebrow yes, gel I'm, yeah i'm going to demo that in a minute hopefully because that is a really good thing eyes looking great and you eyes know as you're blinking, good. we can see that little twin center of the eye there that you've done with that minx color that looks fantastic i love it and i i've learned so many new little tips um it, 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 i mean that's the fun about makeup and even you know, even as I watch, I'm continually watching other makeup artists the whole time because we all do things slightly different. You sure. know, we all we all learn from each other. You know, it's 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 a great community that way. Yeah. Okay. Eyes looking amazing. So yeah, brows. Definitely. Brows. Definitely this is such a great little brows. thing. This is your brow shape. Brow shape. Defining brow gel. Okay. It, yeah. It, it, it is. Look how cute this is. This quick. has. A little teeny weeny 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 brush. Look. Yeah. You see that little teeny weeny one? <laughs> I'm going to put. Now it has a little bit of colour to it. Okay, but let don't me show be you the colour. Because it's a gel, Oops. it really blends back very, very easily. Yeah. So just even when you're using it, if you find that a blob goes on, just keep brushing. Just keep brushing through and it'll really blend back. It's it's a beautiful colour. And the colour that I've given you, and if you're interested, is sable. And I would say that most people are sable because most, most people people's brows are darker than their hair. Do you know, I and noticed then, I had not a, just a grey hair, I had a white eyebrow. Oh, really? Yeah, I had to get my, eye, my eyebrow around. dye out. But it was, I mean, it's just such a faff to have to do that. I love this. And the fact that I can darken it a bit. And I actually sometimes just wiggle a bit. Into the, in, uh, into the brow just to kind of thicken exactly them up exactly that you, you can use actually julia actually my wife is is just a genius with this because she will use use the little blob of of product on the end and push that into her brows a little bit yeah. and then just coming through this is this is all she uses nice for guys as well actually it is nice for guys actually yeah again it, you know men's brows end up a little bit unruly unruly a bit straggly they can get a bit kind yeah. of wiry and uh, yeah, and if, and if you want to hide the, the greys yeah, as well. They're going, every time they get their hair cut, they should get their barber to just trim their brows. They don't. They don't. They really? Don't. So, is, is it safe then, just to trim your uh, eyebrows? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. You should ask your hairdresser. Of guys, if they're going to a barber, because men's brows will just grow and grow and grow and grow. They just kind of grow so, outwards, don't they, really? When yeah, They just grow outwards. Not just the brows, but the nose and the ears and the neck. Oh, yeah. Hair. No, no. You've you got you to gotta wax the nose and the ears, for sure. Uh, and the barber will do that if you ask the barber and just say, will you sort out my fuzzy Because they do beard? all facial hair. They'll the do everything. Thing. Heads, they will do everything. And men don't, men don't do that. They go in and describe their hair in numbers, number two here, number four here. Yeah. But they should chat chat to their barbers. Take that away with you. Speak to the husbands when, when you see them later today. Yeah, definitely. So great idea. Really great idea. And, of course, this has been a, put a, quite a bit of chat here for menopausal thinning eyebrows right great yeah. way to just give them a little bit of oomph yeah and also just to brush them upwards because it kind of lifts the eyes doesn't it if you just brush your brows up it's like okay. a little mini eye lift exactly. and that looks fantastic like i say liz i always think you're so good at your makeup oh, but thank you. That's lo high lots, i know lots of women are nervous about pencils i know they're nervous about pencils mm. so this is such a great alternative yeah, I like it's this. so quick it's so That's easy good. to do and as you get more proficient, yeah, you've really sculpted the brow oh, shape thanks. there. That's fantastic. Love it. Uh, Love it. Uh, that is eyes done. You're already looking quite glowing. Your skin looks amazing. I oh, thanks. I've got a very nice yeah. light in front of me. I was yeah, using it does look really, really good. Lily's mask earlier, so I'm just so, going to get a grab seeing, a tissue. Seeing as we're, we're, we're sticking on this sort of sparkly Christmassy theme. Yeah, be right back. Oh, I do like that. I need a dress with pockets. Yeah, I was very jealous I when you were all... dress with pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Something to put my makeup in. Something I can carry my bronzer around in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, I mean, guys have pockets. They have trouser pockets and jacket <laughs> pockets. And, and we need dresses with pockets. Indeed. Okay. 
So what okay. have you sent me there? What is this? So this is the powder illuminator. Um, let's okay. talk about it. I have to say you're looking really glowy already, so let's not go too mad okay. here. But seeing as I'm describing a nice a nice look, I would say this is really pretty to just, uh, and you can take a, a, a medium-sized brush mm -hmm. and literally just go a little bit onto the apples of the cheeks okay, and yeah. up towards the top of the ear. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Lo okay. And like I say, you're really looking quite glowy there, Liz, so let's not go too mad no, here. No, just but a it little is, bit. It is really nice. And I never talk about highlighting. I never talk about highlighter. Mm -hmm. I talk about illuminating. Think about okay. illuminating the skin. This this is the pure light, compact pure light powder. The colour is called Luster. It has quite a peachy undertone to it. Love that, but it's peachy. It will just bring that illumination to the top of the skin again. And this has been our theme today, without mm. looking glittery. Yeah. Without looking... You know, too sparkly, just that lovely illumination. Yeah, that's lovely. Nice. Now, I think you need to touch a blush on top of that. So I have sent you. You've one sent of my me favorite my favourite blushes. This this is Dust. mine. I use this all the time. You can see where I've been using it. That, isn't it a lovely colour? Clementine. Yeah. Clementine. And really, it's really like pretty. a pinky, corally colour, and it just really? brightens your face. You just look yeah. a healthy glow, a lovely and texture again, as well. Don't be I would say, you know, again, so many women I meet ner nervous about pink, picking a bright blush. They yeah. often steer towards the brown ones, you know. Pick up something that's got yeah, some colour mm -hmm. and just go into the apple of the cheek with it. And it's it looks so youthful to bring that flush back to the, that perfect, yeah. yeah, just to the centre of the cheek. That's exactly right. A couple of tips here, I would say. If, if you smile, try not to get the centre of the cheek. Try and bring it around slightly. Lovely. So just think about okay. catching the edge there. I think just if you come clear. too far around the front here, um, you can look can like look a, a dolly. Bit, you know, the little like dolly. you've been jogging. Dolly yeah, cheeks. right. Just just a bit too flushed. That's really pretty. So this is that's Clementine. Really, Clementine, Clementine, and, we, and, with, and, and that's with the pure light underneath. It's a really yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice combo actually for for a, a Christmas or just any time, just kind of party look. Yeah. To get per that perfect. Green. So now we've got sparkly eyes we've got glowing illuminated skin i think we should finish with glossy lips okay. i have to say the last live i did with you i've met so many people who have said to me oh, i loved that idea of dabbing red lips on it was that was... floozy lipstick <laughs> i went out not that long ago i did a post on it actually and had so many comments because i said rupert has just talked me into wearing bright red lipstick well, all I know, Liz, is I put you in a lipstick called Floozy and almost immediately afterwards you became an underwear model. So something <laughs> with the confidence there, I don't know what it was. That is so true. And I was wearing floozy you, coloured pants. You looked and... amazing, by the <laughs> well, way. Thank Let you. me tell you how beautiful you all looked oh, in that shoot. It was what so nerve-wracking, I can't even tell you. Oh, well, you look you look fantastic. What an amazing thing a bit of red lipstick can do. For I know. Somebody. Do you know, but it's so true. You know, you, you, you catch yourself in the mirror wearing a bit of red lip and it's just, I don't know, you're kind of, your shoulders go back and you just have Good a bit more you. confidence and especially Good in the winter, you. it's just, it's just fun. But I love the tip that you gave me about putting it on with the finger. Just dabbing Coming up. back to your thing, fingers again. Just, just dabbing so up. So are we going to yeah. use it again then or what? No, I don't think we are. Just because okay. I think we've gone for it. I mean, look, Yes, of course, absolutely. It would work really, really nicely with this look. But I think because we we've, we've done more on the eyes. That is I think this, we'll this is floozy, by natural. the way. Okay. So just to show you yeah. Rupert's tip there, that is floozy. And in <laughs> fact, Rupert, I've given you a cover credit. If you look at the cover of the current magazine, I'm wearing you know, floozy. I'm a, I meant to ask you about that, actually. Yeah. I met Kerry, yeah. And I, I, I mentioned it here in, in the credits, because people always say, you know, what are you wearing? And, um, you. yeah, I've, I've, I've given you a credit here for Floozy. So there that, you go. It just looks amazing. I'm sure Kerry September must have been spinning in her grave, saying, I've been trying to put red lips on you for she as long has, as I She bless her. She <laughs> has, and I haven't, I haven't been bold enough. There you go. Maybe it's an age thing or a confidence thing. I don't know. Oh, well, it, look, look. So red lips would work here, for sure. And the colour yeah. is floozy is one. It's that true red. Yeah. I actually think we, we go a little bit more natural than that. I've sent okay. you a, um, a, lip, a lip liner called Buff, 
We may have used it before. Yes, I love buff. I got mm. buff. This is one that I genuinely use. This is my, my buff. Lives, lives in that kind of nude family, but it's got a sort of pinky freshness to it. So yeah, really, really wearable. And, and I would say lip liner is a useful thing to use if you are out for drinks parties, using something like a bit of lip liner all over the lips first, you'll find it'll last a little bit longer. Okay. You know? So the lip liner will stay on as you're sipping your Prosecco. So all over. Oh, I'm glad you talked about Prosecco. In fact, I've got a new thing, which I'll talk about in a minute. This is not Prosecco. I think this is even better than Prosecco. Oh, look at that. It's an organic fizzy thing from Sicily. So oh, okay, fantastic. Perfect from quarter past one on a Monday. Well, I mean, indeed, it's gone midday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh -huh. So, yeah, start at the line, line all line all around the lips, then just fill the lips in quite roughly. But like I said, you know, these lip liners are very long-wearing. They're waterproof. Mm. So they will wow. go, yeah, lovely. They will go on and they will stay in place. So what it means is, and what we're going to do now, is you can pop a lip gloss over the top, and, and as your lip gloss wears off, you've still got some colour on, on, on your lips. Mm. So the lip gloss that I've sent you is called Amelie. It is quite peachy in toned. It's a pinky peachy colour oh, yes. to match your cheeks. Um, and it'll work nicely with our Amelie, kind of... show me... Uh, like a... Is it this one? A corally... No. no. I've got this oh. one. What I do have... you have? I have this one, which is called... Uh, Alice? Ali okay. Alisa. We'll be just as perfect. We'll be absolutely fine because we've got some it's colour got a little on bit the of lips. sparkle, do you see? So Alisa is clear with some shimmer in it. It's nice. really, really pretty. Yeah. So we'll go over any of your favourite lip okay, liners, great. any of your favourite lipsticks. Yeah, let's go for that instead. I must have read the list wrong. No. Yeah. It smells nice. It smells of, uh, slightly fruity. <laughs> Oh, yes, look at that immediately. Can you see that sheen? Yeah, lovely. Just some nice some nice shimmer. And like I said, look, look, if I could invent a lip gloss that stayed on all night, I'd be calling you from my yacht somewhere, <laughs> you know, because there is, there is no way to make a lip gloss that stays on all night. But these are a gel formulation. They're comfortable. Mm. They're creamy to wear. Mm. They're actually quite nourishing and moisturising, yeah. so the longer you wear them, the better your lips will get. That looks fantastic. But the, the thing about lip gloss is you carry it with you and touch it up. That's what you do yeah. with it, all right? You, yeah. you take your compact with you like you are there, and every yeah. now and again, yeah, my little you pop and powder your nose, and you just touch your lip gloss up throughout the party. And the nice thing about a sort of colour, a clear colour like that is, if you, if, if you get a bit on your Prosecco glass, you know, it's not yeah. going to look messy, and your colour's not going to come off either. Yeah. Because that looks lovely. And it looks, it feels really comfortable because, you know, I'm getting really dry, like, cuticles, lips at the moment right. with the weather. I mean, it was oh, snowing yeah. here on Saturday morning. It was, you know, how really, yeah, I mean, lovely. pretty, but, you know, but really a bit cold. It, um, it's a challenge on the skin, yeah. So lip, lip gloss, uh, you know, it fell out of favour a little bit, but I, I, I think if you want to look glamorous, put some mascara and some lip gloss on. You know, if you want to really quickly just add that's some glamour, it, isn't it? mascara, lip gloss, gloss, you're good to go. Yeah. And that's really pulled up. So that's Elisa. Mm. The colour is called Elisa. Pretty. And it's clear with a sparkle to it. So mm. great. I tell you, it's really nice over floozy, over Ooh. your red lip. Okay, I should really, be trying really nice that. Story. I yeah. do have a Christmas party coming up. So yeah, I shall try floozy with Elisa over the top. That should be really good fun. Really, really good. Well, you look fantastic. Oh, that thank so you. I feel, I feel amazing. I feel like I should be heading out somewhere rather than, I think I've got an afternoon in the kitchen, actually. That's not so bad <laughs> with your Italian hey. fits. <laughs> I have, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, stay, stay tuned. I'm going to talk about this. This, this is um, a new discovery. Thank you, Rupert. Have you got, are you super busy with Black Friday deals? So, and... so we're on the other side of that hill right now. So the Black Friday deals kind, kind of wrap up today. Um, the, the, but of course, the Liz Loves for your community, Liz Loves, Liz yeah, Loves 20, is... you will continue. Fantastic. Continue to use all, all the way up to Christmas. Brilliant. We've got a few other makeup events on, but things strange. Things will wind down in the next few weeks yeah. and it gets a bit quiet here, which is nice because it's been a busy, busy year yeah. for us. It's yeah, been really, really nice. And what are you doing at Christmas? Are you away? Are you home with the family? Hopefully. So my father-in-law lives in Guernsey 
Nice. Um, so we do alternate Christmas, and I'm hoping, if they let us in, that, yeah, the yeah. whole family will go over right. and see Terry in Guernsey in his late 80s. So, yeah, that oh, will be lovely. Nice. How about you? Will you be at home? Uh, I'll be at home. Yeah, my first Christmas in my new house, so looking forward to it. I've just got to Fantastic. find all the Christmas decorations now. So um, my, my youngest was, was just saying, oh, he said, you know, when are we putting the tree up? When are we putting the tree up? And I said, well, you know, the, the month has to begin with a D, even though I do love Christmas so much. I agree. So I, agree. I, think, I think it's going up next, next weekend. Okay, so good. My well, challenge you've got this your, week is to find You've got your golden gherkin anyway. I okay. have my golden gherkin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if anybody missed this 100-year-old golden gherkin, and I need to be able to read the comments so I can see whether that was a real tradition... We were discussing this earlier, if anybody missed it, that in Germany, you ha you hang the golden gherkin on the tree and then the person who, first person who finds it gets an extra it's present. But apparently it was created by the marketing department of Woolworths just to sell more me. stock of golden gherkins. It doesn't surprise so, me. So wasn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's always, always such a pleasure. A pleasure. Well, oh, thanks for asking me, Thank honestly. You. And I always say this, but it's really true. Here at Delilah, we love your community. Oh, because they are the best. They, they always interact with us. They're so proactive. So yeah. thank you to everybody for this year, you know, for yeah. coming and visiting Delilah and interacting with us. Honestly, yeah. we love you guys. So, so yeah, yeah. And anytime... I'm really happy to jump on a live and there's so much more to talk about as Great. well. So well, I tell you, I'm hoping, depending on what happens with travel and everything, I'm hoping to get to my son in Kenya at the beginning of the year. Wow. And um, we've got a family home over there, which I haven't been to for two years. I normally go over wow. there and, and spend kind of January there and use it as time to write and think. And yeah. um, So it'd be quite fun to do a live, wouldn't it? We could do a whole kind of like safari look. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Live from Kenya. Live from we Kenya. Giraffes out, out roaming with around. Giraffe, totally, back. giraffes in the background, and <laughs> yeah, know. it would be, actually, no, be a bit surreal. <laughs> it would be amazing. Fingers and, crossed. And then one of the other things that you mentioned to me was one day doing a live event. Is that is that something that's on the cards? Totally. Castle? Oh my goodness, I would so love to bring this whole thing to life. Well, you know, I would love to have you know a couple of days uh, where we have you know workshops stall holders, all the lovely Liz Loves people, yeah. so that you can actually come and see and touch and feel and meet and, you know, oh, I do be, talks and all the rest of it. so much fun. That would be so much fun. Well, keep us posted on that because, of course, what, you know, we would love to come along with something like that and Great. meet all, all your lovely community. We would so love that too. Well, listen, my darling, if we don't speak, have a really, really happy Christmas. You too. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much. Take good care. Hope you get to Guernsey. <laughs> Thanks, bye -bye. everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye, bye bye. Yeah, you have to leave me, otherwise I shut everybody off. Oh, wasn't that so lovely? Live events. Yes. More lives with Rupert showing us more tips and advice. Absolutely. You know, I, I've made a mistake. because um, It was so funny that he sent me that palette, Jezebel, because this is absolutely the one that I use, literally. I've got several in my bathroom, and I've just basically move them all out of the way and use this and I tend to use this creamy shade here as a kind of base all over my eyelid and then use these lovely sort of matte satiny ones here which just go on and stay on and they're just the right tone and they're just brilliant and then this lovely goldy one here but I was using it all over the lid and it was just looking perhaps dare I say it, a bit too bit too much bit too little girly so I love that idea of using the darker shadow just here and then just right in the centre, just that dot of gold and the tiny little bit of brush underneath. Anyway, really, really good. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Rupert. Now, before I go, I mentioned my sparkling fizz. And this is something that you might have seen, actually. This is in the current edition of the magazine, and it's a really great offer. I do like a nice glass of wine, as you may well know. And so we've got the Lazar Wellbeing Wine Club, and I always pick out a best buy. And I've got lovely friends at Vintage Roots who are just brilliant at organic and biodynamic wine and beer and all sorts. And they've put together a special for us. Um, I've just ordered my six bottles, actually. You get six bottles at a special price. It saves you over six pounds. And it is this, which is um, a fizzy Italian wine called Il Griglio from Santa Teresa, which is, I'm pretty sure it's from Sicily. 
and it is absolutely delicious. It's 12.5%, so it's not too super, super strong. And I'll just read you the description here. It's from Grillo Grapes, and it says here, reminiscent of wild flowers, nectarine, and white peach. It has a touch more flavour and depth than a similarly priced Prosecco, and it's made by the award-winning winemaking Girelli family. And it says, Il Grillo is a more unusual and sophisticated glass of organic bubbly in a beautifully classic bottle. And that is from Vintage Roots. So you'll, you'll find a link. I know, Rachel, you probably popped a link on Facebook already, um, but there is a link written in the magazine. It, uh, and I'm pretty sure that we've got it on the website as well. Um, so, yeah, that is our selection. So it says here, bio-organic, vivo vegano, which I think is Italian for vegan wine. <laughs> anyway, lovely classy bottle too. So if you're going to a drinks party, you're going to see a friend or perhaps looking for something special for Christmas. That's the alcoholic version. Of course, you've got the Mighty Brew Sec, the Elderflower Sec, which is the non-alcoholic kombucha. And for those of you who are coming to my Christmas carol concert on the 8th of December, so not long, Wednesday week, who's coming? Um, we're going to be serving, Mighty Brew have given us, because it's a charity event, they've given us the bottles of the Elderflower Sec to serve as an alternative to um, a glass of something alcoholic and fizzy. And there are going to be homemade mince pies. We do have just a few tickets left if you're interested. So we've got, um, I think there's just maybe two or three of the VIP tickets left, which gives you early admission and the chance to have a chat with me and the team. And then there's general admission tickets also on sale. We've got some of those left as well. So if you're able to come, please do. And every penny of our proceeds um, goes to the Live Twice projects. And I'm delighted that Amy Peake is coming back to talk about loving humanity. We've got some great celebrity readers and my brother's going to be doing lots of fun singing and songs. And you know the drill, those of you who've been before, it's not a stuffy carol service. It is a lively carol concert it's very interactive so um if you would like to come along what's my favorite carol um well i think we always start with oh come all you faithful because that's just kind of like you know whoa gets everybody going and i think we end with hark the herald hark the herald angels sing you know that is just such a it's a roof raiser isn't it it's uh, and then a couple of kind of softer ones in between and then there's just some fun some fun things i've got my nephews are coming with their band they're going to be playing so it's you know it's going to be quite a family event so if you are able to join us um it would be lovely it would be lovely to see you uh so what else do i need to tell you about today um i think uh, just to say, oh yes, my goodness, talking about hair, it's not just skin, but it's hair as well. So Percy and Reed, my lovely friends at Percy and Reed, sorry, my um, screen has just frozen here, but many of you I know love the Percy and Reed range. It, I've been using it, I washed my hair this morning, um, using this duo. So I've been using the strengthening shampoo and strengthening conditioner. I know Lily was here talking very briefly earlier about the Alpha Ray, the LED for thinning hair, which is amazing, the mask, but that's obviously very pricey. It's an investment. This, these two work really well together. If your hair is fine and thinning, maybe you've had lots of chemical treatments, colouring, that kind of thing, strengthening shampoo, strengthening conditioner is a really good duo. And I'm pretty sure that we have... Um, well, I know we have a Liz Loves, and I think it's 15%. I'm sorry, my uh, Google Doc is not working properly. But anyhow, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Rachel, I think you'll probably pop a link up on Facebook, won't you? It's a Liz Loves, as always. And in fact, with all our discounts, you can always find them on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. If ever you want to check anything, or if you're on Instagram, Rachel's been brilliant. She's put together these little guides on Instagram, and there's a, they look there's a new symbol on Instagram. So if you're new to Instagram, or you're just kind of looking, and they do these updates all the time. It's a little book symbol. It looks like that, a little open book. And if you click on that, then there are all the different guides. And Rachel, thank you, because you've been great in collating all the information, because we've got so much information now. It is often hard to keep track. Um, yeah, no, my, uh, my document here is not letting me access it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it is 15% of everything at Percy and Reed. 
And what I also love about Percy and Reed is they do great mini sizes. I am a sucker for a mini size. Okay, the um, volumizing mousse, brilliant. And you can get this in a handbag size. So if you're traveling or you're going away, want to keep you know your oomph in your hair without having to take these huge great you know containers of professional products this is really really good and the other one that I love from them is their little wonder balm which you use after you've washed your hair and it just strengthens and retextures and it works so well I think Jenny said it was their best-selling product um, and just so much less expensive than uh, some of the really professional um, products that are designed to retexturize and strengthen the hair. Here we go, I've got Percy and Reed back. Yeah, 15% with Liz Loves. Absolutely love everything that they do, particularly for their styling. Their styling range, I think, is excellent and their overnight hair treatments and all of that is really, really, really good. Yeah, who's this? Lisa saying, yeah, I do love Percy and Reed mousse. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, and, oh... So, oh yes, yeah, so a lot of people meeting up. So it's very easy to find the Carol Concert. It's a great little church in Chelsea. So it's just off Sloan Square. So Sloan Square is the nearest tube station or bus stop. Um, there's actually, if you're new to London, there's a very good app you can get called City Mapper. Do you know it? My kids use it when they're in town because it shows you the absolute the best routes for buses and tubes and um, walking directions if you're driving or walking, you know, it, and it just talks you through exactly how to get somewhere. So City Mapper, if you are brand new. Yeah, thank you very much. It is 15% off with um, Liz Loves on Percy and Reed. Oh, look, you got the Fair Delith, you got the Winter the Wonder Balm, which you think is lovely. Yeah, very, very good. Of course, being beauty, I should also give a shout out to our lovely friends in the Outer Hebrides, Ishka. Amazing skincare. Wasn't that great to talk last week to Leon? Really, really good brand. And I know lots of you absolutely love what they're doing up there. Their marine cream is just dreamy. And again, we have a very good Liz Loves on that as well. So thank you very much to everybody at Ishka. Big shout out to them putting together all their Christmas discounts and things at the moment and their gift sets. So I'm just checking Ishka. Yeah, 15% off. Um, and totally love their things. I really love their bags, their little vegan white bags, leatherette type bags with the little white candles and just beautiful. Smells incredible. Um, there we go. So comments about my necklace. This is my Neroli. So this is also on offer. There's so many offers at the moment. This is 40% off. So you save over £70. And we do have them. I think we have some yellow gold uh, and some rose gold left. This one is my little rose gold, which I really like. I wear it a lot. And I shall probably be wearing it to the carol concert. So if you do have any Lizelle jewellery, do please wear yours if you're coming along. I'd love to see that. Um, so last chance today and tomorrow to enter the Sanson and Reed competition. Free competition. You can win £500 worth of clothing and accessories from Annie Reed. Um, at Sanson and Reed. I am going to be back with a little bit more fashion actually on Wednesday. I'm going to be joined by Neve Barker, who is the founder of Travel Wrap. We're going to be talking about the cashmere collaboration for the Travel Wrap that she and I have done. This was something that we launched a few years ago and it sold out. It was just so, so popular. Really beautiful, amazing quality Mongolian cashmere that just lasts and lasts and lasts. And we are donating proceeds um, from that to the menopause charity. And she and I will be talking about our menopause journeys and how we connected really over, over that, um, as well as many, many other things. So that is going to be coming up on Wednesday and lots more wellbeing chat as well. So I look forward to seeing you then. I should be back 12.30, probably from here. I'm not sure quite where I'm going to be. I'm not quite sure where this week is working out. I've got lots of Christmas things that I'm going to be doing. I think actually this afternoon or maybe this evening, I'm going to make some of my Christmas mince meat. So I might try and film that. Those of you who would like my Christmas recipes, you can get them by downloading a Happy Healthy Christmas. So these were recipes that I put together basically for my kids when they started to leave home and they wanted to take all their family recipes with them. So lots and lots of ideas. And this is a great recipe, I have to say, for turmeric mince pies. And I'm going to be making that mince meat this afternoon and hopefully making a few mince pies if I get time because I just think, come on, time to eat mince pies, don't you think? Oh, 
making me feel really hungry now. Anyway, I'm going to go off and eat something. Thank you for being with me. I uh, look forward to being back with you on Wednesday live. We've got lots more happening, lots more on YouTube, obviously, as usual. We've got all the podcasts and downloadable information, fact sheets on the website. Go and check it out. Nice to have you with me. Thank you. Thank you very much for all your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As Rupert says, it's the best community. That's what we think here. Yeah, it's the best one. Thank you. See you Wednesday. Bye-bye.